Welcome back to Hawkeye's Hot Tips. In this one, we're talking about honesty is the best policy. Is it though? I spent the last 16 months in retirement. The first few months of that, more or less, I was just taking a break from the company that I was at. And the next year of that, I spent just periodically going on Indeed, filling out applications, just seeing what else was out there, what other options were available to me. I spent thousands of dollars driving back and forth to orientations, uh, going through their drug screens, doing their road tests, doing their entire orientation process. It sometimes takes up to a week. All just to, at the end of it, uh, everything fell apart. All the lies started to come into place. And you want to know what one of the biggest lies was? We would go through the entire orientation process. I'd ask them all my deal breaker questions and everything. Do you have a pet and rider policy? What transmissions in the truck? What kind of loads? Where am I going? All that kind of stuff. And the biggest thing for me, pet policy. Four times, four times, four times, four times, I would go to a company's orientation, get through the entire goddamn process, get to the point where they have handed me the keys to the truck. I have loaded my stuff into their truck. I'm sitting there waiting for the loads, and then all the lies start to unfold. Oh, well, we're not going to have a load until, you know, maybe tomorrow, and then you're sitting there for a week. Oh, maybe next week. You know, it's the weekend now. It's after five. You get excuses left and right. But the biggest one was out of nowhere they hit you with, oh, well, uh, now we need... Now we need this information. Uh, we need, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna deduct this money out of your pay. Yeah, all these things just that come out of nowhere. All these lies start to unravel. So, instead of getting all the way through the orientation process, giving me the keys to the truck, loading my stuff into their truck, sitting there waiting for the load, just to find out that, oh, now we're not going to allow you to have a dog. Where the hell else am I gonna keep him? I can't leave him at my house. I got people to keep stealing my stuff and trying to kill him and stealing his food and his food bowls and his food treats in giant boxes. I got scumbags where I live. I can't leave my dog at home and I can't afford because I've been out of work for a while. I can't afford to leave him in a boarding place and God knows what that's going to cost. And I don't plan on being home for a year and a half. You know, I plan on being on the road continuously to make up a stockpile of money so that I don't have to work for another 16 months. So what's a guy to do? Honesty is not the best policy. That's what I found. The reason I'm driving for this guy, I've kept the dog a secret. I've got a box and I've trained this dog. He's able to hide inside the box and stay quiet. He doesn't bark, whimper, whine, make a noise, drawing attention to himself. He will lay there still waiting until I open the box back up. Great dog. If your dog's not like that, I uh, don't know what to tell you, uh, but in my case, I was able to hide my dog in plain sight while I'm loading my stuff into the truck while the owner was standing there, and I was able to keep him a secret. Now, I'm going to keep him secret as long as possible because if this guy turns out to not have a dog policy, which I never asked him, I didn't ask him pet and rider policy, because that is the biggest thing for all the companies that I've tried to work for so far and spent thousands of dollars driving back and forth to Chicago, back and forth to Miami, all these different damn places to do their orientations on my dime, never being reimbursed for any of it. I did all that. And every single time they told me, we have a pet policy. You can bring your dog. You can bring uh, a, another person, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This guy... I didn't even want to go through the headache. I didn't want to go through the hassle, the lies, the bullshit. I just said, you know what? I'm just going to keep him a secret as long as possible. I'm going to try to hide him and I'm going to put him in this box. I'm going to train him to just stay quiet and stay still. And so far it's worked out. So honesty is not the best policy. I would recommend if you have a pet, keep that shit on the DL. Don't tell nobody. Don't ask if they have a policy. Because that's a deal breaker for me. If dude tells me, oh, hey, you can't have a dog, and I've only been working for him like three days or something, I'm going to tell him, here's your keys, because I have to have my dog. There's no other options. I don't have anybody I can leave him with. I don't have trusted friends or family or nothing. So he has to be with me. That is a deal breaker. So I've always, for the last year and a half, have asked people, what's your pet and rider policy? Do you have one? And they said, yes, 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 until they hand me the keys. And then they're like, oh, hey, but uh, we've got uh, these stipulations now that they come out of nowhere. So yeah, we, we, 
we can't work anything out. So there I was with no job for so damn long. But again, keep it quiet. If you got, if you got a friend, don't even bring it up. If, if they're saying that kind of stuff in, uh, in orientation, tune out, stop listening. You know what I mean? And then if they ask you and when they say, Oh, Hey, we told you, you can't have a dog. It's like, Oh, I, I wasn't even listening. At least you won't be lying at that point. But honesty is not the best policy in this case is what I have found. So maybe a piece of information that you can use if you have a pet or writer, writer that you want to take along with you, maybe that'll help you out. But honesty is for suckers.